bag and cylinder systems are the two types followed commonly. Government departments and hobby farmers follow this bag system. Here the substrate is filled in a small poly bag of 1 feet diameter and 1.5 feet height. But for large scale production, the cylinder system is better. Of course, the principles and the methods are same in both the systems. This film explains the cylinder system of oyster mushroom cultivation. Select a cool and clean place for the construction of the shed for mushroom, away from the busy roads. A small shed or a room is sufficient for hobby growers. Here, the farmer is using the shed built for broiler chicks. In case of tile or sheet roofing, let the center height of the building be 15 feet and 10 feet on the sides. This height is necessary to avoid excess heat during summer. Thatched roof of this type is better. Trees around the shed keep the atmosphere cool. Mushroom shed needs good ventilation and light penetration. Here the windows are big and are fitted with insect proof net. Gunny bags on the wall control the light and the humidity inside. Mud flooring is better. It absorbs excess water reducing the chance of contamination. Otherwise put a layer of sand of 3 inches thickness on the floor. This holds the water in between which improves the humidity. The shed is 22 feet wide and 140 feet long. 10 cylinders are placed in each row widthwise. A gap of 1 foot is maintained between the cylinder to facilitate the growth of the mushrooms. Between the two rows, 2.5 feet of space is left for the movement of the workers. This shed accommodates around 400 cylinders. The cylinders are placed on bricks to give air gap at the bottom. Hence, the end of the central pipe keeps open. Here, every day one fresh row is being added. This plan of continuous batches is to get regular harvest of mushroom every day. It is difficult to maintain humidity in this big shed. Harvesting starts on one side of the shed when the spawning continues on the other side. So the control on the contamination becomes difficult. It is better to divide this house on lengthwise in two or three clear partitions. Visitors should not be allowed inside the shed unnecessarily. Remove footwear and soak feet in the disinfectant solution compulsorily when entering the mushroom shed.